Welcome to my channel. My name is Chimmy Juliet. If you're new here, hi beautiful. So you're welcome and don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave watching this video. So today I'm gonna be really quick. I know what I might say. I'm gonna be really quick. I'm never really quick, but this time I'll be really quick. I'll be delivering tips to help you take care of any braid bumps that you may have on your hairline or your nape. I'll be sharing tips to help you to know what to do when you have those braid bumps or swellings. So make sure you watch till the end to learn how to take care of your hair better. Okay, so I've had my braids in for about three weeks now. Can you see how gorgeous this still looks? <laughs> so I haven't really had a lot of growth. It's still, usually it's only when my I leave my braids in for two months that the growth gets about here. But then it's just three weeks, so the new growth is just a little, and I'll be taking it out next week. So, yeah, so I just wanted to leave it in for only a month. So, before we begin, I'd like to explain what exactly braid bombs and swellings are. And they're actually inflamed hair follicles, which are called folliculitis so it's actually a hair condition and although folliculitis is usually caused by a bacteria or fungal infection in some cases it can be caused by stress and tension with braids during protective styles so even your updo can cause you folliculitis for example the worst one I've seen so far is with my sister she had her hair in this really tight high bun and uh, it was a disaster literally she had it in for about a month and when the high bun was taken down she had like pus oozing out of it it was just a mess like it was really really bad and then she also had like some on her edges as well so please please if your hair is braided tightly or styled tightly it's not worth it make sure because this can lead to hair loss so always make sure that you loosen that part of your hair or just change your style to something more convenient it's really not worth it all right so as i already mentioned i usually leave my hair in for about four weeks but then it's only been three weeks and i've noticed braid bombs on my nape so as you can see it's only on one particular braid which shows that the braid was braided too tightly and usually I braid my hair myself but this was the first time in 10 years and that I let someone else braid my hair for me so she was really well there were two of them so the stylists were really good but then it seems that you know this particular braid at the back was particularly tight and then it got worse over time because yeah, I always put my hair higher up in a bun like every single day even like when I'm going to sleep during the day like I only put it down just because of this video like my hair is always up so and that also aggravated to the braid bumps so my first tip will always be make sure that your protective styles are not too tight make they, they can still look pretty even if they are a bit loose like mine even if it's a little bit loose just like mine obviously this was not what it looked like I'll show you what it looked like you know when when they were done braiding and I didn't have any I didn't have any like tightness I could still move my brows <laughs> and I didn't have any you know discomfort when I was done so this particular nape um, braid bumps was definitely due to the fact that my hair was always in a bun so that put a lot of stress on my nape hair, my little baby nape hair, and, and that's the reason why I got these braid bumps. So you have to check yourself, you have to check wherever you're having those braid bumps right now, or those braid swellings, make sure you please check, check that your hair is not braided tightly around there. And if it is, I do suggest that either you loosen the braid or you loosen the style that's in. So if it's in a high bun, always make sure that after you put your hair in the bun, Make sure that you you pull out that particular braid like you pull it to be a little bit loose just a little bit loose not as firm as the rest number two is whether or not you decide to take out your hair out of a tight style i would suggest that you do massage the area of your hair that has the bumps massaging that part of your hair 
helps reduce the tension so but I would always advise that you take the braids out or you just loosen it just make sure that it is not so tight so I usually use either castor oil or coconut oil use whatever is convenient for your scalp any oil that you have that doesn't cause build up that absorbs really easily will work for you just use it to massage your scalp just to reduce the tension in that area so my next tip is please take breaks between your braids and protective styles this is so so important whenever you do take breaks your hair is allowed a chance to breathe your scalp is allowed a chance to recover you get time to actually take care of your hair underneath by shampooing and deep conditioning and having a full health hair regimen and keep a distance I will recommend either a month or two months in between each protective style that you have to add extensions in so with this one I do plan on braiding my hair again but I will give a break of a month or two in between just to make sure that my hair is properly taken care of underneath without any of this extra weight on top of it but having said all that i hope you all learned something from this video if you are suffering from braid bumps or swellings right now please try the three tips that i just mentioned and then if you are experiencing like pus oozing out of your scalp from your tight style i would definitely recommend you go see a dermatologist immediately if you cannot find a trichologist in your area so please do that as soon as possible just to save the health of your hair guys right, thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to live well live great and pray always god loves you and god bless you take care lovelies don't forget to like comment and subscribe and buy my book <laughs> all right then bye bye